Hi everyone, welcome back to My Slice of Heaven. I'm Chris and I'm going to be showing you how to prepare uh, seeds from various fruits for planting the trees. Um, for most of them we do uh, various forms of stratification. So come along and see how we stratify them. As you know, uh, Joey has been uh, planting, well, we've all been planting a lot of chestnuts in the last year or so and been stratifying those and planting and everything. And I, besides having chestnuts on the property, I really want to have some fruit trees as well. And obviously it takes a few years for the fruit to be uh, on the trees. So I thought I wanted to get started with those as quickly as possible. And we've bought some um, couple year old trees here. We planted them here at the house. And while they're very good, they're very expensive. So I thought, hmm, how can I get fruit trees without paying 60 or more dollars per tree? So what I ended up doing is when we ate some of the zester apples from the front yard, I saved the seeds out of those. We also have a peach and a plum tree in the backyard. I saved the seeds out of those. And now it is time, and I've been saving them, and now it's time to stratify them so that they are ready to plant in the spring. All right, so as we were eating our Zestar apples, since that's the kind we have planted out front and they're delicious, by the way, uh, we saved those seeds. Um, as, we, as we took them out of the core, uh, I washed each of them in, in water, used a strainer so that they wouldn't run down the drain, and then dried them on a paper towel. At first, I was saving my seeds in Ziploc bags, and they started molding, and obviously that's not a good choice. So after your seeds are dry, even though you think they're totally dry, you, you want to put them in um, paper envelopes. Never sealed them, but there's so few in there it's not like they're going to spill out. Um, and very important, you want to label what they are because you may think, I'm going to remember this. And as I was going through these seeds to prepare for today, definitely some of them I've forgotten what kind they are. So today we have zester apples. Like I said, we got those from our apple trees in the front yard. And then we just had some apples that we got from the grocery store that this is a really tasty apple. So I saved those seeds. I don't know what kind they were. So that bag is just labeled apple. So now I'm going to work, I'm going to stratify them for the winter. Um, so again, I have a bag. Now this time you do want a plastic bag and you want to label it with what kind of seeds you're putting in it. All right, so to stratify your seeds, you're going to take a paper towel uh, you're going to spray it with some water, so I put a regular towel down underneath. Uh, fold the paper towel in half. Now I happen to have just counted these seeds. I have about 50 zester apple seeds from our apples that we had this, uh, this fall. Yeah, we had them in the fall. I almost said spring. That wouldn't be right. So you put the apples on your paper towel. Uh, you want to spread them out that way when the seeds uh, start sprouting, and they get roots, they're less likely to be tangled up together. And then, and you notice I put all the uh, seeds on one half of the paper towel because I'm gonna fold it in half one more time. And then I'm going to spray it until it's pretty well soaked. That's looking pretty soaked to me. Oh yeah, if I had that at the sink, I could wring it out. So after you spray it to soaking, fold it in half, Oh yeah, look at that. You can see <laughs> where the paper towel was. Good thing I uh, got the towel down. Yeah, it feels like you could use a little bit more water on the outside. Not sure how I'm going to get the other side, but it's pretty wet. I think I'll be okay. Oh, with the water in the paper towel, it's definitely holding the seeds in place. I mean, I wouldn't want to pick it up and shake it all over, but that should hold them while I put it in the bag. Now, they do say that apple seeds, only about 30% of them will germinate. So yes, I said I had 50 in here, but that means we're probably gonna get about 15 of them to germinate. You close the bag up, but not all of the way. So the little airflow can go through. And then this will go in the fridge. It's supposed to be in the fridge for at least six weeks before you go to plant it. Uh, but we'll be checking on it probably every week, um, spraying it with more water if it needs things like that. All right, um, got some 
pear seeds um, from some Bartlett pears we got at the grocery store. Um, at first, I didn't know what I was doing when I was trying to select, save the, the pear seeds. And I'm pretty sure most of the ones I saved here were not um, actually ready. All right, so you see how most of them are these little bitty little things? I don't think those are actually going to do anything. Pretty sure it's just these three big ones. But in most of the pears I had, mostly all I had were these little. So I thought, oh, well, that must be what a pear seed looks like. And then I got one pear that gave me some uh, some bigger seeds. So I'm going to put them all in the paper towel, but I'm not expecting anything but maybe those three big ones to uh, actually turn into anything. So putting the pear seeds down on the paper towel, just like I did with the apple. And you can see, yeah, those three definitely look nothing like the, uh, the rest of the ones there. So learn that one on how to save uh, pear seeds. And then it works just like the, uh, just like the apple. And slide it into the bag. Next, however, we're moving on to some seeds that get stratified rather differently. All right, next we're going to do plum seeds. And again, I have some seeds from our plums in the backyard and some from the grocery store, so I want to keep those separate. Now, the way you stratify plum seeds is you're actually going to put them in some peat moss for three months. So it's January now, so it's definitely late in the season to be doing this, but figured now is better than not doing it at all since we didn't do it earlier. So the first thing you got to do is you put some of the peat moss in your Ziploc bag. Oh yeah, that is definitely dry. Maybe a little bit more. Then I'm going to soak this, get this wet before I put the seeds in. Then I'll put in some more. Ooh, it smells like dirt. Funny how that works. Oh yeah, barely made a dent. I'm gonna need a lot more water. All right, so that took quite a bit of spraying. In fact, by the time I finished doing this little bag's worth, Joey took the whole bowl to the sink and got the whole bowl just about moist enough since for the rest of the seeds we have to do today. So um, you might be better off using the sink instead of the spray bottle for this. So if I take some of the uh, peat moss, squish it in my hand, it'll hold its shape. So that means it is ready to put the seeds in. Now for my backyard plum seeds, I only have four of them. So pushing the, these four down into the uh, into the peat moss. And of course, making sure I cover back up the hole that my fingers are making there. And I'm gonna spray a little bit more water on top. Like I said, these then need to go into the fridge for three months. And just like with the other seeds, we will be checking them regularly to make sure there's enough moisture and everything. And then there's conflicting um, information on if the bag should be sealed all the way or not. Some people say it should be, some people say it shouldn't be. But since we are going to be laying it down in the refrigerator, we're going to seal it so that it doesn't get dirt all over the fridge. All right, so today I showed you how to stratify the apple seeds. Remember, there's, those are gonna go in the fridge now for at least six weeks. The pear seeds, I'm going to do the same thing with those as the apples, as well as the plum seeds, and those need to go in the fridge now for three months, so significantly longer than the apple and pear seeds. I will have another video on how to stratify the peach and nectarine seed. I will have another video on how to stratify the peach and nectarine seeds, but that's a more complicated process, so um, have a separate video for that. So thanks for following along while I stratified these, these seeds that I, I gathered. And until next time, have a good day.